George Happ with Matco Manufacturing. We make aircraft wheels and brakes. Uh, we manufacture out of a factory in uh, Bountiful, Utah, Woods Cross, just north of Salt Lake City. And what we're looking at here today is uh, our E-Series wheels that are very popular on light sport aircraft. A lot of innovation going on in the light sport world. But the fast movement of the light sport aircraft and the mission that they might uh, encounter from when it's first built to some of the other applications that the builder finds once he's got it going can change. And the innovation on this wheel is the ability to change from one wheel to the next without having to change a lot of hardware on the airplane. So this particular display shows a five inch wheel, a six inch wheel, and an eight inch wheel. And what's behind them is all the same on every one of them. So to be able to change from one size to the next is as simple as removing three bolts, taking the wheel off of the axle and the hub, and putting on the next size, just like you would do on your car. Yeah, new at Vans, we just announced the RV-15 at the show here. That's going to be a high-wing, backcountry-capable airplane and we'll bring the same technology and even more advancements to that airplane than we have before. Yeah, we're working on a six-seater right now, so four or three rows of two. Uh, it'll be a high-performance turboprop. Oh, we're actually also building a twin turboprop in our shop right now. Uh, so that'll be cool. Not pressurized, but service ceiling at 25,000 feet. We should get close to 300 knots. Uh, for a home built, that's insane. Yeah, my name is Blake Frazier. I'm with a company called Flyboy Accessories. And what we do is we look for uh, various accessories, anything that a, that a pilot may want. These are our lighting kits. Uh, it's, they are high quality LED uh, items that go together. They fit right into the airplane. It's a totally different look from everything else that's out there. Uh, and, and then, you know, when you're building something from the ground up, you can get the best components, you can get the best items and put together a kit that's gonna last a really long time. Well, I think certainly within the experimental aviation community, you do get this incredible exchange of ideas. The good ideas get shared and the bad ideas only make it one or two kits in. And uh, it really is a, a good way to build the community and continually improve uh, what are already awesome, awesome airplanes.